Hello everyone, Duke here with part 14 of this Austria campaign, Napoleon Total War. And we're picking up from a clumsy uh, ending last time when Prussia, against certainly my better judgment, decided to attack our allies in Hanover and Hessen Castle. So we have technically lost these regions uh, as territories, uh, but, and it does mean that there is a chance the Vu could smash its way through Germany, um, North Germany again and make its way to Berlin. And it has meant that we no longer have an easy access uh, to the low countries to liberate them. But uh, I have sent, uh, given, I've given orders uh, for Karl Mack and Ferdinand to march north back towards Berlin to keep an eye on that area. And um, probably once they get up there, should Prussia move in and take these regions, uh, we can march up and try and liberate Cleves, or probably just give it to Prussia if they're going to be pushy about it, and then try and liberate the Low Countries and really hem France him. That's what we need to continue doing there. So we've had a serious hiccup, uh, not serious, a, a slight hiccup that hopefully will not turn into anything uh, too, you know, like, hopefully it won't have too much of an effect on our campaign. It certainly will have an effect, that's for sure. It certainly bought the French quite a bit of time. But with, if we're fortunate, it, it might not. It might just be a mistake, not a disaster. So, let's see. What can we do? We're still building uh, across the empire. Our economy is funny how no matter how much we put onto trade, we can't seem to uh, radically increase our income above six and a half really, but we did lose a bit of income from Hanover and Hessen Castle no longer being our protectorates. It had to be done. Prussia declared war on them and, well, we were the only people who would have backed them. We would have lost all our allies, so it was an easy decision there. But we do look slum somewhat unreliable on the world stage. Let's just hope that that doesn't come to haunt us. I think that's possibly the biggest thing that could come out of this, but let's hope not. Uh, technology, we're researching army core organization, trying to get up key costs down. That would help now that we've got two, uh, four, four full armies. Oh, I think I'm probably going to end the town. I can't see any building to do across the empire and we've done all our movement and the armies that we have left, uh, you know, they're all uh, st stood around Baden. So let's end the turn. Yeah, let's get our spies up as well. Yeah, we're still far from out of the woods when it comes to all the French armies. As we can see, uh, we've got Davu there, and Napoleon's marching up to join his good friend Davu. Oop. I'm hoping that was... Hmm. Interesting. Okay, this has not worked as I had liked. So, France has attacked Baden-Württemberg which means that they do not see them as a uh, neutral ground that they can't march through. But they're quite happy to try it. Okay, Prussia have taken Hessen Castle. So it doesn't matter if there's any armies running around. There aren't, because that was all they had time to recruit. But there aren't any armies running around. Uh, Hessen Castle has fallen. It's destroyed again. And it means that we can march up towards Cleves, which is not terrible. There might be a chance to take out that small army that France has sent into Württemberg, into Stuttgart. If we can try and defeat their armies bit by bit, especially if we can take out their marshals. If we can get marshals of France off the board, that would be helpful because they have very good auto-resolve capabilities and great morale effects on their armies. So if we can get rid of them bit by bit, that would be pretty helpful. Hopefully they're not in range of Alsace. Ah, what's going on here? All right, let's pull back a bit. Ah, they've put themselves on there now. So they gave up on this thing and getting no money from this now. Okay. Uh, okay, well, we're not getting past the Spanish ship easily enough, so we'll just head up here. And we finally made it to Trebizond. We still have most of a monopoly on this part of the world and its trade, which is unfortunately... This Spanish ship can, every time it turns up to one of the trade nodes, it, it, it's going to have it. Oh, right, Hessen is dead. The Velour Mutiny. Uh, I don't think I'll read that, but it's it's not, it doesn't have any effect. It's just a little bit of flavor text. Okay, we've got a new trade ship. Wonderful. Let's 
start recruiting another. One turn away from getting two new 74 gun ship of the lines. Then we'll have four pretty good ships. Yeah, I doubt it would be enough to take on this Spanish ship. And I'm not tempted to just send them out and try and do some damage because if they captured any of our ships, then we're back to square one. So, we just got to build that up slowly. Right, so let's just double check what I think has happened. Um, baden württemberg is at war with France. Now, is that army within range of this one? I don't think it is. And if it is, it's not... It's not... It's not awful. Um, the only thing is... Yeah, Switzerland is right there. Hmm. Let's think. So, you know, basically I'm thinking if we march down... Oh, though they're not at war with Stuttgart. And if they did try and take Stuttgart, the, the Swiss would not be as hard to knock out of the area as others. Uh, it's, if Napoleon's coming up this way... No, the fastest thing to do is definitely march up. But let's make sure that we can keep our two armies together. Okay, so let's march this army this way. We're absolutely going to march united. So let's go to about there. I'm uh, not getting an awful lot of replenishment, despite the supply post here. Oh, yes, we are. Yep. Yeah, it, it, it was displaying the replenishment from before. And next time we might be able to march on Cleves. Oh, no, I think we're too far away. Oh, one army can, and if the other one can reinforce, then we might be able to move on Cleves and just give that to Prussia. And destroy Davout's army in the process, which would be fantastic. And... Let's go to... Go. He's... Galleries. They're never finished. Let's see. Who needs a government building the most? Zagreb makes more money. So it'll be good to upgrade that tax income a bit more. And then I think we'd have to build that one. And then, yeah, we're slowly getting our government buildings maxed out. And once that's done, then we'll have maxed out the repression bonuses and our tax bonuses. So we might be able to start improving the economies you know, in the towns around it. Let's send, yep, keep sending that over to Olmutz. Uh, I've got a line infantry unit here. Yeah, this is all quite annoying. But if we can give Stuttgart time to build up an army, and, you know, that's, that's going to help us. Yeah, if we can take out, who's this, Druo. Yeah, we have a good chance to take out Druo here and quite a bunch of, quite a lot of units. Gosh, nine men and, nine men per turn, or two turns, that's quite a lot. It's, let's have a look. Let's save the game. We're going to tentatively approach this army. Who's our better army? This one by far. So we're going up. We're going up along the road. So let's do that. You'll be going along this way. It's hard to tell. Like, what's helpful in the later games is if you hold right click over a unit, you can see a reinforcing arrow. If someone can reinforce, you sort of got to eye it. It doesn't look like they are in the yellow zone. But it's, it's happened more than once that I've then gone on to attack an army when playing this game. Not just in this series, but in general. And they then get reinforced. So this is why I'm being careful about this. Yeah, my lord. I think if it turns out we are within range, ah, we'll yes, reload. Because I think we are definitely attacking on the logic that they can't be reinforced. Because, as you can see, the yellows don't overlap. Yeah, um, so let's see what Drew does. Perfect. Okay, he's not getting reinforced, neither are we. I'll take that. This is a very good chance to take out another marshal. Some 12 pounds, yeah, some really heavy artillery. But we have the numbers advantage, and if we can take him out, then we can try and position ourselves on the bridge. And maybe even march on Alsace. If we do march on Alsace, it'll be good to take that out, and maybe even... Hold it for a little while. It's just one region. And hold there, and get the replenishment, and deny them a recruitment zone. I don't, like I said, I don't want to keep taking uh, 
regions and occupying them because it's going too fast to add up uh, the negative modifier of, you know, territorial expansion, that one. So we want to avoid that if we can. Okay, let's go for two units in the middle here. Damn this weather, sir. <laughs> Wet powder makes misfires a certainty. Damn this weather, sir. Let's spread those out. We'll have to spread them out even further once the battle starts. I'm pretty formulaic in my deployment. You know, what works, works. I like to form a long old line. Broken up with some heavy cannons that can fire canister. Cannons where I can... Cavalry where I can... You know, use to breach a gap. Plug a gap, even. And then cavalry on the flanks to chase down cannons. Right, so let's ungroup these, because if we try and stretch them out while they're grouped, they'll hold their formation. Let's run. I think this is pretty stretched out. I don't think I'll stretch them out anymore. Oh, maybe I will. I think we can get a few more. You want to stretch them out because it gets you, allows you to bring more guns to bear. Right, let's have a little look. Okay, it looks like they're trying to... I think they're going to fire on our cavalry already. Let's try and get out of their way. There's Dro. There he is. Watching the battle. Yeah, it would be good to, good to take him out. Let me see. I don't think we can see through this slope. Let's have a look. Ooh. E Are they actually trying for my general? That's incredibly rude. Let's move the general out of the way. Or maybe that way. I don't think. I'll try that. Okay, so far. I don't think they can see us. But we can't see them most likely either. Yeah, they're... We might be able to see these guys. Let's try shooting at this cannon. Ooh, this, this cannon definitely can. Can't spell cannon without can. Let's hit their artillery with everything we have on this flank. Because I don't think those guns over there can see us through the hill. So if we can... Maybe try barrage. Glorious victory, sir, is soon to be yours. And this cannon. Really try and take them out. Ooh, getting into some infantry at least, but I find it very hard to actually hit cannons. It, it's, but the reward is if you take out a cannon, that's it, gone. Ah, I think that's one. Yes. So now they can only bring three guns to bear over here. Oh, that looked like a hit, but apparently not. Keep trying, my brave boys. That's another one. Excellent. Oof. This, this infantry unit's taken a beating. Good. <laughs> so, uh, let's... Yeah, we're... Once the infantry is in range, I'll turn to my attention onto them and do canister. But while when they're not, we'll see if we can get the cannons. Just get rid of them. Right, okay, but I think it's yeah, it's gonna be a little longer until they're in canister range. Their other cannons can't see us. I don't, I don't think we've taken any losses from them. Oh, brilliant! Taking out another one. All of our cannons are intact. Okay, they're going to come up this hill soon. That's it. That's all the cannons dead. Next. <laughs> Not so tough now, are you? 
Okay, still not in cannon right, canister range. These guys will be soon, so I'll get them ready. Yep, this hill giving us lots of cover from the cannon. It's great. This side has no cannons anymore, so... Yeah. Nice. Nice. Well, I think these guys can fire canister now as well. Yeah, having eight cannons fire canister into you at one go can really do some damage. Oh, yes. Because the, the cannons, canister can fire before they're in shot, so it's like three kills before the main fighting begins. I think take out Dura as well. That really will be good. Now, we, have to ex we still have to expect a tough fight here. Maybe not the chasseurs, actually, because if they get charged by cannon cavalry, there's not much they'll be able to do. Yeah, keep firing on this unit. Let's try and make one of these units flee. That unit's off. I'm going to turn onto this one now. Barrage. Barrage. All right, let's try and take out Duo. He's running out of men in his staff. Can't live for much longer. Oh, come on, come on. He's running away. Ah, what a lucky man Duo has proven to be. So he's going to get away. God, six men left and he's one of them. You lucky, lucky man. Yeah, let's check out this unit before it tries to charge our cannon. That was, that's fine. Yeah, just get back. Don't get tempted. We got them to flee just in time. This unit's up. Oh, good. They've tried to face this, but that's actually really bad because I might even just pull these guys back. Because now they've turned like this and they can't bring all their guns to bear. Let's just pull back. These guys formed a square. Nice, easy target. Oh, I can't believe Jura escaped. It would have really helped. These guys will probably be fleeing by now. That's luck of the French for you. Let's actually try and target their cavalry. That might trigger them to march off. Yeah, here comes some cannons. Let's fire in that direction. Look at this unit just refusing to quit. They're, even w they're winning and they're side firing side on. That's French training for you. Never a fun time to get hit by Chasseur's gunfire. Ah, these, these guys. <laughs> Still fighting. They have no business fighting on, yet they do. Might form a square. No, we don't need to. Right, yeah, good. They're off. So let's come out of square and just fire on these guys. Are they in this one? 
Alright, uh, nope, stay in a square then. That's what you want to do. Let's turn them around. Canister on this unit. Excellent. Chassis is rough. Because, yeah, what I'd like to do is take out the cannons so they don't come back. If we win, those units will take even more losses. So it's not too bad that they're going to run off now. But how are we going to... I think we'll have to do the same with that Shusser's unit. Target it. Get them to come after us. There we are. All right. And you guys form a square as well. I think you guys can form a square too, just in case. They're coming back again. Oh. If only we got duo. Right, get ready, guys, because that chasseur's unit's coming on quick. Nice. Yes. Yes. Excellent. Now let's farm these chasseurs again because they've valid and are guarding the cannons. And once that's done, we'll send these hussars up. Or Chevu Bijer. Ah, this guy's back. Ah. Right. Oh. You shouldn't be like that. as many of them as you can. Oh, did I deploy them the wrong way? I did. Genius move by myself there. Eh? Right, let's go run down those cannons. Meanwhile, this infantry is going to come on. We just have to fight them off again. Let's light ourselves up. Uh, come out of square. Right, just run in there quick. Charge the light brigade star. I'm not hearing that chunk sound, I say. There we go. Right. Oh. Right. Fire on these guys. Oh, they're off. Okay. Just leave these guys. I think maybe if you take up the cannons, that will be them. That'll give up. Ooh, yeah. Wait, they're off. As are they. Might continue. Cannons stop firing in case we inadvertently fire over our own heads and hit our cannons. And oh, I think that's it. Yeah, that's all of the crew is dead. Uh, okay, I'll, try, I'll run down this unit. We've got time. Well, we can run down that unit. And use these guys to run down that unit. I'm not getting that other unit, wherever that is, in time. But let's make sure that, yeah, at least two units are not coming back. I think we might have wiped out all that cannon crew when it attacked our line. Once they lost all their guns. Which, yeah, might mean that, yeah, this is a much weaker army. Juro has to return with no guns and no infantry. Okay, yeah, we lost quite a few men. But, oh, man, yeah, they're down to just one unit. We can, yeah, Stuttgart could just deal with that. I think it might be worth it to try and take out Assassin. If, if we could, I'll spend, send this spy in here. He can just scout out. Oh, no. We didn't know. Oh no, Udino. <laughs> Roger, he's not within range. 
Oh, we can't see much further than that. If maybe we send this spy out. Yeah, because I don't want to send him somewhere. You know, because if we did... Oh, wow, Tavu can really march. Look at that. He can go and take Stuttgart in one turn if he wanted. It wouldn't be the best move because that would that is their only army up here. And we can march in and take it. So I don't think they're going to do that. That is really tempting, though. If we could take Strasbourg, that's going to stop all this recruitment. Because they're not doing any any anywhere else. Okay, Cleves, yes. Not really anywhere. Yeah, if we can take out... That's a really strategic location for them as well up here. Um, fairly wealthy. Not the wealthiest, though. Yes, sir. I can't guarantee that they will not be within range, these guys. It's, it doesn't look like it. It looks like they're just far away not enough shift. not to be. They're six-pounders. Um, it's a battered army, and it wouldn't be a full stack, even with the armed citizenry, which will still be very tough, because it's just, they're, they're just a French morale. That's really... It's, if we could get an interruption on this bridge. Yeah, so inter intercepted. Well, that doesn't mean that they're going to attack us, does it? And they're somehow getting reinforced from that army over here. That doesn't make sense. So no, I'm reloading that because the logic of like, that army is apparently able to reinforce. It doesn't make any sense. That's not the logic that we operated on. So let's undo that, because that's ridiculous. I don't know how that army's managed to reach. Yeah, I might need someone to explain, because I've never been able to figure out. So that is not in range of that. And yet it could go all the way from there to here. I can't understand the logic of it. So what we can try, though, is try and lay an ambush. And we could try and tempt them with... Or maybe not even... Yeah, if we just... The question is, do we leave an army here for them to try and attack with their own? Um, yeah. Or do we just leave it completely undefended? Seemingly undefended and set up ambushes. Let's do that. Yeah, I, I don't know how that army has managed to reach all the way over there. Because the yellow zone here, as you can see, it's just here. So I, I don't understand those rules. That's why I reloaded, because I definitely... I I thought we might be able to get an intercepted there by this army, but it got reinforced by that, which was not part of the plan and shouldn't really have been done. But there's probably a mechanic in the game that is not explained and that I don't understand. Uh, so, best to avoid. Let's see. Uh, Ministers are getting semi-okay. Not fantastic. There's not nothing we can do about our terrible monarch. Unless he just dies. No, he's 38, so no chance of that. So. Istanbul is still in ruins. Sorry, Greece, I gave you a ruined city. I've got a spy here. Send him round. So it looks like Prussia's about to take Hanover. Um... Yeah, we're actually quite strong here. Um, we can reinforce Hessen Castle. So Hessen Castle's not falling this turn. They have not... Yeah, this army's not able to march north. Is it because this army's in the way? Or the spy's in the way? It can't be the spy. Hello. But... That nah, can't be. Can't be that. Or it might be that they... Aren't at war with Hanover. So they won't go that way. So they'll, if they're going to attack, if, they'll go this way. If not, we can march up with this army this turn, take that out and give it to Prussia. And we'll try and take these guys out with an ambush here. With any luck, that'll work. The replenishment here is very slow because it's just a teeny cantonment with no supply posts. And it's not our own, so it's going to be very slow. This is coming on nice. That will give us 3% bonus to income tax. Right. Let's see. Other than that, I think this is all the 
these are all the armies they have. We've just taken out a nice one under Druid. Druid did die. Uh, maybe, yeah, I've just noticed Druid did die. Or maybe he was captured, because he's not technically alive right now. Um, no, he's not alive, but he didn't, he wasn't declared dead in the battle. So he might have been died, he might have died in the post war battle casualties. How's Bavaria doing? Bavaria's not a war of France, so they're okay. We continue to be pretty well liked across the board, except by France and Spain. Oh, and Hanover doesn't like us. Can't blame them for that. Oh yeah, sending these ships west to do a little bit of trade. Okay, they have been tempted to march on Stuttgart, so unfortunately our ambush plan didn't work. Ah, Napoleon's heading that way. Ah, oh, but they have left Alsace. Oh, look, and they've, we've actually managed to... Okay, we're going to want to do this ourselves, because otherwise, just purely because if we were to resolve this, the, uh, we'll take some horrendous losses. The auto resolve is very funky with this sort of thing. So we'll just do this ourselves. It's a nice, easy ambush. They found it with this unit, but it at least takes it out. And I think they've... The plan has worked in some ways, in the sense that they no longer have another unit garrisoning Alsace Lorraine. And I think what we'll likely do, um, we'll attack it from both sides with cavalry. I'm not going to fight it with anything else. It's just no point. Just want to get in there quick. Use our charge bonus from our horses. Hit it from both sides. Um, they're not linked with un ready to fire, are they? No, so we're not going to get any friendly fire. Right, Damn you, this weather you guys. Up. Wet powder makes this fire a certainty. And you guys. Wait. Go. I might form a square, but won't be much to worry about. Which way are they facing? That way. Good, they didn't even fire a volley. That's even better. Oh, and <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's them dead. Alright, Lewis lost 16 horsemen. But that's the last of that unit gone. So I can't run around and do any raiding. Oh, Prussia. Okay, fine. Do it. So Prussia has attacked Bavaria now. So we're not at war with Bavaria, but that does mean that uh, Prussia... Well, we can't reinforce or move through Bavaria anymore. We've Our army has now been cut off. Yeah, I don't know what Prussia's up to. I don't know if it's because it's their victory conditions. But they hate the German states more than they hate the French. I think they've taken Hanover. So if we can take Cleves out... And give that to Prussia, because there's no way I'm letting them do this again. Um, then, yeah, hopefully that will just put an end to it. And if they declare war with Stuttgart, that's also going to be annoying. But at the same time, if we can take out this army here, which I think they've got an army there under Napoleon, most likely. And if we can take that army out, then take out Davu and take out Strasbourg, then that's going to be France's military severely weakened. And then Prussia should be free to deal with Bavaria. And if you have to help them, that's really annoying. But I'll give Prussia Bavaria and we'll just put an end to this. This is just ridiculous. <laughs> why? I wonder why they've done that. What? What's... Uh, I wish we could see why they don't like each other. I'm not too sure, but Prussia really hates the Germanic states. Strange. Very strange. Alright, so we could attack Napoleon, yeah, and then Davout will reinforce drip, drip feed his army in. Might be a way to do it. So, yeah, we've got a good amount of replenishment from this turn. Uh, 
Now, what we might do, I'll attack Napoleon with this army, and this army should be fresh enough to march on to Cleves afterwards. Hanover's destroyed. Very sad. Um, got one more Court of Appeals to build. Oh, so annoying. Why did they do that? <laughs> Ugh, Prussia. I notice they haven't done it to Blumen Saxony. I wonder why they like Saxony so much, but hate Bavaria and Stuttgart. Well, not Stuttgart, Hanover and Hessen. Oh well. War doesn't need to make sense. Sir! Right. right Who's got more men? Yeah. These guys. Yeah, I think I'm just going to scout out this way. Yeah, see this? There's not much in terms of units you have here. And if we cut these guys off, this will be a really, really devastating blow to their recruitment capacity here in France. And it's going to take them a long time to be able to get men from France. Well, you know, we'll always be able to see them coming and prepare accordingly. And then up north here, if we can win a twin battle here against Napoleon and Davu. Give that to Prussia, just because they're throwing their toys out the pram. Rest up here. And then march on to B the Batavian Republic. Because, look, we're losing all our victory regions because <laughs> our protectorates keep getting attacked. I guess Prussia really wants to crack up with the reunification of, of the unification of Germany. So Stuttgart will come any minute now. So I think that's another reason why we're going to need Strasbourg. Because otherwise, we we need to do Strasbourg and then we need to do Switzerland. And that will give us a way back because at the moment we're trapped. As you can see, we can't go back through that way. We can go the long way, I suppose. So we do have that. But yeah, we'll take Strasbourg because this will let us replenish somewhat. And yeah, it's just too good. We need to, if we don't take this, we're going to be dealing with this very soon, which is going to be a poem. So who's got the better army? Definitely um, Johan. So I'll attack with him. Quite a bit intercepted. But I don't want to do that because um, whoa, 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 whoa! Why on earth did he? Re He's gone all that way. Why? He's used up all his movement. Sir, Normally they only go back one step. This, I, I, saw, I, I'm, I am reloading here a bit, but this this area of the map is not operating normally at all. It's not doing... Because well, I was quite able to pull back there and then march together and try and take it with the move points we had left. But this... So I'm, I'm really baffled so far. So this army that was situated here was able to reinforce against this bridge battle here, which was very strange in itself. And now if you, re, if you pull back from here, you go on a massive march here and use up all your movement points. Like, <laughs> make it make sense. It, it's completely illogical. So what we're going to have to do, I suppose, is do this bit by bit. Get this up here. Uh, who do I want to do the attack? Uh, he can't move up anymore. Yeah. It seems a bit safe, Scummy, but it's, it's only because it did not operate how I believe the mechanics usually operate. Uh, it's very annoying, very strange. So, we're going to attack with this army here. And maintain the siege. What I'm going to do, I'm going to use Carl's army to attack these infantry. And either fight them, or they'll just run back. Because, yeah, if they pull back, you'll see how much an army usually falls back. Yeah, so watch this. Yeah, it usually goes back a few steps. Because I would have done that, gone back to about here, and then done what we just done. But our guy went all the way over here, which I thought was a pretty low move of the AI to do that. So I undid it, and we're going to operate. And we can't, I'm not going to take this army because it's going to get reinforced by a lot of Swiss men. So uh, we'll save those for another time. Let's commence.
Let's commence the Battle of Strasbourg. Um, I'm not going to demand the surrender. It's too good an opportunity to actually take out another stack. Uh, under the kind of Bohane. We finally got him. We have finally caught Bohane. A slippery devil. He's got lots of cavalry. Lots of my least favorite unit. Shasta was a cheval. And three cannons. One 12 pounder. Some arm citizenry. Look at that 12 morale. <laughs> and a lot of line infantry, so not an easy battle by any stretch, but we have plenty of reinforcements, which, talking of, let's make sure that we're getting uh, the best that we can get first, so I'm going to get some of that, and then some of that, some of that. Uh, yeah, so I'm just going to do infantry reinforcement. I'll do some cavalry, and then we'll do infantry. That looks good to me. So, uh, do do cannons first. Maybe then Karl Johan. His morale could be helpful. I don't see it going that badly, but it could. So, let's do that. I'm just going to save in case that... Hopefully that will save the setup in case we crash. And, yeah, let's do this. Johan van Ostreich and Archduke Charles need to take out Bohane and capture Alsace Lorraine. So, let's go. Yeah, this will be good to deprive France off. It's definitely their most productive recruitment area. Okay, we get to de we deploy second. We are outranked. Bohane is a greater general than uh, Johan. That looks good to me. Nice and flat. Good views. Alright, you guys go up along here. Now it's good that we've managed to get rid of all those ruddy reinforcements, so it's just a straight up battle. Because yeah, we don't want the enemy getting more line infantry. Fighting one full French stack is hard enough. I mean you remember we needed the might of Saxony, Prussia and us to take out two stacks. Granted it was Napoleon, but that was at Berlin. Here. Yeah, so I, we've only got ourselves, so I'd like to keep reinforcements to a minimum, preferably zero. Right, General, I want you to stay safe, so I'll put you sort of behind this slope, like that. And I think that's it. Might stretch these guys out a bit. Yes! Straight away got some really heavy hits on their Chasseur as we ship out. <gasps> Whoa! There's already quite close activity going on here. Let's... Hmm. I'm not sure going to form a square just yet. Now I am. They're coming on faster than I expected. Oh well, if we can take out a lot of these guys straight away, that will be helpful. Yeah, see, I didn't necessarily think a square was correct because um, they, they they like to stand and shoot back whilst you're in a square, which is why I hate them so much. Um, but if you don't form a square, they can then charge in any moment and get you. The AI uses them exactly as they should be used, and that's why I hate them. <laughs> All right, we're about to hit our own men here, so let's fire this way. These guys can't form a square. My infantry can't make squares, so we're not doing one there. Great, they're in combat now, so that should make that unit a lot easier to deal with. Ouch. Oh, okay, that's another one. We don't have to chase anything down because this is a town battle, so as long as they flee and go away, we've, we don't have to worry about it ever again. Okay. Come on, flee. I think they've decided to come on and attack us because they have a lot more strength than us, on paper. Stats-wise and everything, they are stronger than us. So they've decided to attack, it seems. 
which is good. I much prefer to fight defensively in this game. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Die. 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 Just flee. <laughs> How many more kills do we have to get here? This is the French morale for you. There we go. They're off now. Right. Oh, there's any more can cavalry. So I won't help just yet. But we'll get this unit ready to charge the cannon. Let's try and take out, yeah, the chasseurs here. Yeah. Nice. Flipping love get cannons to shots like that. All right, let's change target now. Don't get too many shots off of these Grenzers. A bit annoying. I have nearly dealt with most of the cavalry now. We've taken quite a few losses doing it. Right, you guys. Run in. Right, any minute now we'll be able to stop the square. Yeah, now. And while they're doing that, they should be shooting in our direction and we should be able to run through unscathed. Right, excellent. That's all those chasseurs gone. Thank you, goodness. Yeah, that was a scary amount of cavalry they had. Might try and get bull honey. Because as you can see, like his ex his existence gives them a lot of morale. Right, that's the cannon gone. Right, right, scout ah, before they get their infantry. In. Okay, haven't got Bohane yet. But the battle for Alsace goes well overall. Now it's the line of infantry's turn to do some fighting. Is soon to be yours. I like to hear that, but there's still plenty more to do. Whoa, that is a very generous odds bar. That's not right. <laughs> We're going to take a lot of losses before this battle's over. Good stuff. Yep, keep firing on them. I wonder if these guys can be canister yet. Not quite. Okay. Let's try and take out those chasseurs. They're still alive. Nice. Nice. Yes. All right, you guys. Well, you definitely don't want to run that way, guys. That will hurt. All right, you guys fire these. Oh no, actually, bull hunter. No. Who do we go for? Nah, let's try and take out the infantry. Well, I think you guys can do canister now, so you fire on them. That grenadier unit's not too much concern right now. That's armed citizenry, so I'm happy to ignore them for now. Yeah, use the cannons to hit their infantry. Popper. They've left. No, they've nearly left the cannons undisturbed, but have got some chasseurs there. So I won't attack just yet. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Really tempting target there. Yeah. <laughs> I think that might be one of the most devastating canister shots we've had this series so far. Right. Let's do some over here now. Oh. Right, 
Chasseurs have run on in. And that leaves the way open for the cannons. They're fleeing. Let's take up the last of that cannon. Uh, I'm going to stop with these guys for now. There's nothing... I guess I can get these guys. I'll try them. Over here, the fire on them. Okay, yeah. This battle's going very well for the most part. Alright, Bohono is running to go and defend the cannons. We're not having any of it. We're just running in. Da -da 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 -da. Let's get the general. Hopefully he can win that fight. Got the general. Our oh, Chef Leger can win that fight. We might have to reinforce. Oh, no. We're we'll cut off now. Okay, keep firing on them. You guys. Oh, it's fine. Alright, they're kind of stop firing on us. We're hunting the general down. Stop. You guys stop. They're pulling everyone back to defend Bo Honey. We have killed their generals, sir. Now they must break. Good stuff. Finally got the guy. He got away from us in North Germany. But now at last, in France itself, we got him. Yeah, they won't fight for much longer now. Not without Bo Honey to help. Their morale is all orange now. Is that unit down? Uh, or maybe even just charge this unit here. Yeah, I don't think they'll stand up to it. Oh, look at this. This always annoys me. The French on very hard can just fire before being in formation. Which is fine. I mean, in real life, fine. if we were able to do that, I wouldn't have any complaints. I, I'd like it if my units could do that. Um, but it's just, we can't do that. So I think it's, it's unfair. back. Get this one now. Ah, that's it. They're fleeing. Good. And we don't have to do any chasing down, baby. That's that. End the battle. Heroic victory, I'd say. That went excellent. So, yeah, we lost 519 men and we took out the entire near 5,000 stack of Eugene de Bouhanné. Okay, we will... I will occupy it. I'll spend a yeah, few bit of money to repair it. So if we can repair it... Um, then I think that will speed up the replenishment. And then, yeah, look at this, there's not much around. Here. Just this. They might combine these two armies for counter-attack, but not with the amount of men we have. They're no threat. I'm not going to chase anyone down. I'm just going to stand next to Strasbourg. Because we can't reinforce that far. And Switzerland is just a hop and a skip away. So we can liberate those guys. I'm sure Prussia won't go after them. And... Because if we leave, if we own this and try and move on or something like that, Switzerland can come up and try and do something about it. So we need to liberate this, and it gives us a way back into Italy. Because at the moment, as I said before, we're cut off because Bavaria is no longer with us. Thanks to Prussia, in their wisdom. So yeah, plan here. I think what we're going to do, we're going to march up with this army reinforced, of course, uh, to attack, and then I'm going to use these guys to march them to Cleves where we'll hopefully we'll win the battle. Take out Napoleon again. Take out Davu, which will be fantastic, because he's definitely a great target. And, yeah, gift this to Prussia before they declare war on us, even, to try and get it back. And, yeah, rest there. And then there's the Low Countries, because we need to get Brussels. That's one of our victory conditions. 
Ah, oh, this is good. Yeah, so we've got to... It's a bit of border ball, but we own Alsace right now. Don't want to hang on to it, but in the meantime, it's a good, good beach to have. And it gives us a teeny bit of a punishment now that we own it. Wow, these guys have got really good stats. Yeah, look at the morale stat bonus and the accuracy bonus, yeah. And the reloading skill when they get experience is massively different. So I think I think Strasbourg's safe here. Strasbourg isn't likely to get attacked, I don't think. They might pull back. But if they do stay here, then it'll be easy to take out this army under Udino. Uh, in detail. And if they try and send this army down to help, we can do the same thing there. And we've stopped all that recruitment, that whole line of recruitment. Now the only recruitment they can do is way back here, in sort of this sort of trifecta here. That's it. Especially if we take Cleves, all their recruitment will have to be done here. I don't know about Paris, but these two regions aren't doing anything really, apart from a cannon. So if we can take that army out, this is the French power. They're only down to mighty now, same as us. So they don't have as many armies as they used to. This is good. So we do look very suspicious though right now, because we've owned that, so I think Territorial expansion is now minus 16. It's increased it by 12, I think, for owning this. So if we owed it again, it would be 26 or something like that, and then it would get really, really negative. So, but if, yeah, if we take Cleves, though, it might make Prussian look kind of uncool as well, because they'll be expanding, technically. If they want to try Bavaria, that's up to them. To be fair, if we do take Cleves, they will have no other distractions and they can march down to take Bavaria. It's just very annoying. Um. I would like to do something about Spain, but we can't spare anything right now. I think if we can get, if we could get France under control, because getting France under control doesn't mean we win necessarily. We need to, to get our victory conditions here, and I think it'll be better to take out France first, and then we will build up our strength here, and then we can just rush our victory conditions that are left at the very end, because we're going to have to go to war with our allies, which I, I don't like. That's the one thing I don't like about the a lot of the coalition campaigns in this game is that you have to go to war against. Um, Yeah, the Allies, the other coalition partners. I think it's better. It would have been better to be like, own 25 regions and make sure France no longer exists as a nation. Or, I don't know. Or maybe, yeah, it's, it's, basically it's just weird that you have to own regions owned by your Allies. That's not what this should really be. It should be working together to take out a really, really tough enemy. But instead, as you can see, Prussia is more focused on its own regions and trying to get loads of German states under its, oh, under its control, which is very annoying. Right, so that's... I think that's pretty much it for this episode, guys, but we're one turn away from Army Corps organisation. Taking Alsace has deprived them of really good recruitment. We have a really good chance of taking out Napoleon and Davout and hemming France in to just here, and then we'll try and replenish as quickly as we can for marching on again. We've got to, if I'm going to start liberating France, we need to take Reims. So, that's going to be easier said than done. What it might be is, if we can get away with it, so we'll liberate these two, so we're not going to own this, so that's fine. Then, we, with these armies, we go Reims, then Paris, and we don't have to hang on to Paris, we just have to then march on to Reims, liberate Brittany, and then gift these regions. And then we don't have to take the territorial expansion penalty. Because it goes, it goes back down again. If you get rid of those regions that you own, the penalty goes away. So that's what we'll, you know, so we can do that nice and quick. Okay, I've got some Chevy Leger here I'm going to get rid of. <laughs> I haven't got any use for these. Gives us a bit of money back. And are we still trading with Bavaria? Doesn't seem so. 
Ooh. Everyone else has got more technology than us. How sad. Well, anyway, that's a problem for next time. Right now, it's going pretty well overall. I think France have kind of irreversibly been hemmed in. I think this is all for us to deal with now. I don't think Prussia's tempted to come over this way. They're more bothered about the unification of Germany. And yeah, we'll take it. We're going to have to do this really quick so that we don't get too much penalty for expansion. Get Brittany and then gift all the French regions to them. I think that's the way to do it. And then we'll treat that as Bourbon France. Okay, so. Uh, as, unfortunately, though, because they own a militia building here, a government building, they'll only ever recruit militia, but I don't need them to be a powerful fighting nation or anything. They can just be... They can just exist. It's fine. Um, okay, so. I hope you enjoyed that, guys. That was another pretty tough mission, especially with the frustrations of the Germanic states getting attacked by Prussia, but... It's all pretty manageable. The war against France is what matters right now, and it's going well. So we are able to keep overcoming these obstacles. Things might get held up here first. I think the first thing to do is liberate Switzerland before going into France. Because otherwise they can just take this, and then we've got another problem. So we'll do that, replenish here, then France. So don't miss any of it, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.